Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering NFL Week 5, the Houston Texans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go hit the subscribe button right now so you can get the updates each and every time we have uh, content coming out for the NFL season. You want to make sure you're getting those prediction picks down so you can make your best bets during the week. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Uh, coming into this game, the Houston Texans have a lot going on in their backyard. You look at Bill O'Brien being terminated as the head coach of the football team, and where exactly does this put this team? Well, if you look a little closer at some of the mistakes he's made, uh, DeAndre Hopkins should have never been traded out of the Houston Texans. He should have been extended a uh, 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 big contract because he is elite. When you're looking at wide receivers, you're looking at them getting rid of Jadavian Clowney basically for little to nothing. I would have never gotten rid of Jadavian Clowney. He would have just had to walk for nothing because of the immense talent that he was. When you're looking at J.J. Watt, you have a couple of talented pieces still on that Texans team. But when you look at the last five or six years, they've had talent all over the football. Watson, as the quarterback, is a pretty good young quarterback. They didn't get the best out of him. So when you're looking right now, going into this game against Jacksonville, Jacksonville should not win this football game. I know Gardner Minshew and company are a young team. They're rebuilding. They're very talented. They're young. But when you're looking at the Texans, the Texans still have a better roster than the Jaguars. Deshaun Watson has to come into uh, the office every single day from here on out, look himself in the mirror and say, look, it's on me now. Um, you have a couple of pieces with Fuller. Um, <sighs> even though I, I would not have traded David Johnson for, I mean, I wouldn't have traded DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson. You know, you got him now, so use him best of the ability. Get David Johnson out from the backfield and get him as another kind of wide receiver, dink and dunk, uh, pass catcher. Uh, push the offense forward. If you're Romeo Cornell, you are an interim head coach. You're 70 years old. Have fun. Go out there and make the game plan fun. Make it where Deshaun can basically go out there and and pull the trigger. Make, make sure he has what he needs to offensively put together a game plan that he can succeed. You guys have to start winning, and I do mean that. And and it's disappointing because you have so much talent on a roster like Houston, and they have nothing to show for it the last couple of years. Not really playoff contenders, not really doing a lot, but you do have 12 games left. Even though you may be on for right now, you have to look at yourselves in the mirror and say that was just one quarter of the season. And Deshaun Watson has the power to bring this team up by the bootstraps and get them back into contention. I think with the AFC South being as you know, okay as it is, you know, you got Jacksonville. Tennessee is approachable. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is they're not unbeatable. Indy's approachable. They're not unbeatable either. So if you're Deshaun Watson, I think you're possibly the best quarterback in that uh, AFC South. Make something shake, my brother. It's the, it's the time to get off the, the mat and, and produce. I know that you've been a producer for the last couple of years for them, but I want to see him step up in his maturation process and carry this Texan team to the next level. And now you have Bill O'Brien out the way. You can literally call different plays. You can set up sets that are best for you and your offense and make it shake. I'm picking the Houston Texans to get their first victory of the year. I think that with Bill O'Brien away from the franchise, that dark cloud that was hovering over, the ill will that was hovering over after getting rid of D-Hop and company, a lot of players didn't like that move. I didn't like the move. I'm not even a Texans fan. But um, I think this is going to be a turning point for not only Watson as a quarterback, J.J. Watt as a player. I want to see passion on this Sunday. I want to see them come out and fight. Even though it's Jacksonville, play, play like it's your Super Bowl. Every single game from here on out. Give me some heart. Let me see what you got. So I'm picking the Houston Texans to get their first victory this week. Um, hopefully. You know, I think that Deshaun Watson is enough quarterback to get this done. And moving forward, I think the Houston Texans are going to play a lot better. You know, that guy is no longer there. Bill O'Brien is not there anymore. So I think they can take that next step in their development. Um, but I want to see what the Texans got. This week is going to show us a lot about the Texans if they're fighters or if they're just going to lay on the mat and let the rest of the season go to waste. All you Jaguars fans, all you Texans fans, get in the comment section and tell me what you think about my predictions. And as always, we thank you so very much for subscribing, for supporting. And remember, get in those comment sections. Tell me what you feel. Tell me what you want to see content-wise as well. 
And uh, thank you so very much for your support. And y'all have a great one.